Alhamdulillah Ya Rasulullah You have already seen my biography and the post of the propagation of the past. Uh, we were uh, giving lectures on the strategy of the research, write papers, doing publications. Now we are going towards uh, something in commerce. And we have seen that uh, what kind of strategies and how to improve the power. Sequence of our uh, second technical session. Today, I'm going to lecture about biometrics. The title of our presentation is Biometrics Changing the Paradigm of Personal Identification. Most of you are well aware of uh, this new technology. I should not say it, but uh, emerging technology. And uh, this is used for the identification of human and human genome. So, this uh, is my email address through which I can be contacted. By a screen page, you can see that what I am doing, what information I am giving, and who are giving it. In this presentation, I will explore some uh, topic which I delineate here. First, I will give you some introduction about this uh, traditional modern authentication technique, and uh, later on, uh, the biometrics with its characteristics. Actually, this is this is a tutorial lecture, not a technical details of something which I have done. First sequence, we will see the biometric field overall. I have already given a lecture in Koya, so this is another video that you can watch in the next second or third time. And for journal, uh, it is a tutorial kind of lecture, this will give you first overview of this field, what are the building blocks, what are the main you know, uh, characteristics, what are the main uh, objections in this field. Later on in our uh, sequence, we will see in detail the technical uh, of the biometrics, what are the benefits and common benefits, uh, what kind of techniques we can use to do biometrics. And we'll also see some biometric applications where biometric can be used, like in uh, daily life. See the biometric revenue and market share that uh, because this is very important to pursue our research. It shows the revenue of a field or market share of a field is going up means that more people are doing research in that area and shows the potential that this research direction, research area, research area is show encouraging to pursue research. See the biometric recognition process. Modes of biometric recognition we will discuss uh, very different modes here. And the limitations with the biometric system, unimodal biometric system is there, like uh, fingerprint system. We explore some future uh, directions in biometrics, like multimodal biometrics, which is coming in the present. And uh, we'll also explore some security and secrecy problems uh, inherent in the biometric systems. And uh, at the end, I will conclude the presentation with the conclusions and consider the overall biometric system. So, first of all, the question arises with that why? Security, why do we need security? We are every day we are confronting with a lot of problems. Authentication, we are every time we are using uh, you know, our computer, then we have to enter our user ID and password for emails and for accessing the door and for accessing the banks everywhere. So we are using authentication credentials. So this is the reason that uh, when you have to access some uh, that kind of infrastructure which requires 
application then you have to give your credentials like user id and password and uh, due to the rapid advances in information and communication technologies banking system you have to protect your resources from illegal users by giving the authentication or authorization and organizations and banks they are always looking for the most secure authentication methods for accessing the for giving access to the user for access control e-commerce for other kind of application their uh, their paramount function is security. security is very important for banks critical infrastructure protection is very important like uh, some hackers can hack your system if they jam your uh, flight reservation system or some kind of you know uh, communication system you have to implement security plan there are some kind of uh, authentication methods which we use every day most commonly used authentication method is using email password pin code right because every time when we log in to our computer then we have to enter our user id and password that is called some pin code password password or some kind of pin second kind of authentication method is simply that that is a card like we access our door every day we have to just uh, show our rfid card in front of the sensor then it recognizes that okay this person is a legitimate user and it can be access uh, uh, to this bit something you are yourself by one present your fingerprint like every morning we come here we have to present our fingerprint on the system and then we can get us the access from time in and time out right now we see the something you know I told you that this is the most common type of user authentication we are using. Because it is very easy. You just have to remember the password. You have to spell somebody who is not normally people use name, phone name, your ID, or maybe password. It is easy. But the uh, passwords are traditionally used in accessing computer system, telecommunication, banking, etc. Like you go to the ATM, then you have to use your card and then use your But the problems with the passwords that passwords can be shared at any time. I can share my password with my friends. Give my card to him. He can access my account. Or maybe he can hack my password. Or a lot of the problem is going on these days. Very common thing. But the problem is this that it can be shared. But if sometimes we don't want that uh, nobody can access my resources. Even if it was like that, something you have is also a kind of authentication. That, uh, we use the cards like RFID card, magnetic card, or something like that. Like normally, these days we are using USB. But the uh, cards that can be used depending on the application are uh, magnetic strip cards. We have seen in the banks. Banks are using. He is saying right that uh, magnetic card can easily be copied. And, uh, this this has been observed that, uh, that for example, you are uh, you can easily copy a data, a data of a person. It's not a big problem. Magnetic strip card has a problem because there is no encryption. In yeah, the smart smart chip can be used in that, and it is uh, normally protected by. Data is encrypted in the and radio frequency identification cards and tags. Every day, like we are using RFID cards to access the gates of this world, or maybe to uh, control ourselves in the.
smart cards as chip right like the uh, sim file problem with this uh, kind of authentication is card can be lost share expenses and body function right i have a card i give to my friend okay and ask him okay uh, go to my office and open the door and uh, 